You guys are too candy? Yeah, man. Oh, man, I wish you guys had some candy. I think so. I think so. When we get up there, right? So we're gonna get like a view. It's definitely pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. For the TV show, I'm about to be Spider-Man. I'm about to jump down there. You like that? I like that. I know y'all wanna see me be Spider-Man. This is a dope view. The only thing I would like better is if the ropes weren't in the way. Whoever thought I'd be on the Brooklyn Bridge, you know? Now I'm officially from Brooklyn. What's that say up there? 1875, we're in 2018. Over 125 years. No locks, yes locks. Is that a Brooklyn thing? <laughs> That must be some New York lingo. Talk to me. We walked across the bridge. Now it's time for some good old Brooklyn pizza. We're at Grimaldi's. Now it's time to see what this pizza's about. Hey guys, welcome to Grimaldi's. How you doing? Brooklyn Bridge lived up to the height. It was perfect. I wish it was a little taller, you know, like, I'm afraid of heights, but I also like it. Uh, the view was beautiful. Um, the people around us were showing love. It was cool with my teammates. We enjoyed ourselves. It was hot, so I mean, that, that obviously played a factor, but I mean, great view. Uh, one thing I'll say that I didn't, I didn't love was the bike lane. It's like, I think I almost got hit like twice, so they need to get rid of that. The Brooklyn Bridge experience was, uh, it was good. It was hot. Uh, but it was fun, it was cool. We actually got to meet a few people on the bridge who were asking us about our shirts and what Knicks Gaming was. So we got to explain to some people who we are and what we do. So I thought that was cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just thought it was a hot day. It was yeah. hot. I thought the view was a lot better than I thought it would be. And being over the water was cool seeing jet skis. I've gone over the bridge a few times before when I was younger. But going over it again as I'm older, I can get a better view, better experience at it. Just amazing, amazing day. I want. This is how you eat a pizza. This is how you eat pizza. Straightforward. You don't fold it or nothing. This is how New Yorkers eat the pizza right here. Like this. Folding it. How many commercials you see when somebody folding their pizza? Let me know. You thought of one yet? Oh, okay. We did it. The Brooklyn experience. Woo. Communication is so big in this league, so it's it's something we always talk about. Who you know, who should be the main voice? Obviously, Adam is our point guard, so that's naturally who you like to be very vocal. I'm back on sick. I'm actually I'm trying. I'm stuck. I'm on got 2K. I'm on got 2K. I got you, Steph. You need it. Go to work. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Good try. Good try. Good try. As a point guard, I'm sort of the leader on the court on the offensive and defensive end, so I make sure that I'm always uh, strategically pointing things out, whether it's if we need to switch or if we need to wrap or calling out plays. Keep moving, Mark and Eric. Keep moving. Don't forget to move. Always move. Always move. I'm trying to force him towards you, Mark. Goofy is, all, is also a, a big vocal leader for us. He, he's a big talker, which, I mean, he's the first one to say it. He'll talk the entire game no matter what. Watch the play. Watch the play going yep, to the corner. Well, we're positivity. It's really easy to talk when when everything's going right, but when things are down and, and you're in a run, that's when you really have to focus on communicating. Hey, hey Kuda, once, you, once you get stuck like that, every single time that you fake pass twice, yeah. they're just they're just dropping yeah, down. I was about on to you. shoot it. Yep. Yeah. It's there all day. Down the middle. <laughs> nice goof. I love my snow. I love being snowed in. Good work. Up top. Up top. Nice. Oh. Are you seeing anything? Are you seeing anything that like they're not covering? Communication is key. You know, you need communication to win games. You need communication for chemistry. You need to keep moving forward with that communication. If you don't have communication, things are just going to fall. Everybody has different types of communication. Like me and Goofy, we more the aggressive communicators. Like, we just say it how it is. And like, Kuda, the more positive person, him and Nate. They like the positive ones, and Ye just the in-between. He aggressive, but then he like cool with it. So like, um, it's different types of communications. And, uh... Come on, come on, football, come on, y'all. Hey, let's come on, go, come on. Come on. Bro, it's not over yet, it's not start over yet. Start getting stops, start getting stops. Give me some, some stops. 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 That was the three we needed, come on. One stop at a time, one stop at a time, come on. All of them help, because it's motivation during the game, but like, I think they like the the aggressive energy more. You're in his head, hey, you're on, in his man. head. You know how hard it is, he gets, he just plays mental games. Yeah. Once he starts and, getting down, yeah. we saw the last time when we flooded him when he was at point guard. 
Once his confidence gets low, he's gonna choke. We all need to be a voice on the team, and I think that's gonna help us in the future. Is there anything I'm saving to purchase? No, not really. I'm just saving up. I'm not saving up any money to buy anything. I'm usually actually saving up the money for my daughter. So in the future when she needs things, it's automatically there waiting for her. I don't know if I'm really saving up for anything specific. I'm kind of just leaving the money where it's at and then hopefully if I want to buy something one day, if I need to pay off something, I'll have it there. Probably more shoes. A car. Uh, I can't really disclose it right now, just stay tuned until next summer. If I was starting a business, it would be a boys and girls club. I'd probably start a business that deals with advertising and sort of public relations and helping people out in that space. It's like a three-way tie between like uh, creating an app, um, artificial intelligence, or gaming industry. It would probably be like a baseball camp. A gaming business. I would not mind getting into the restaurant business, but I don't know if I would actually like to be at the restaurant. It, it would be so like, I'd want to be half and half. Be part of the Knicks gaming franchise, it means a lot. Uh, it's the greatest city in the world, in my opinion. So to be part of something that just started and you know, seeing where it goes down the line, it's pretty cool. Being a part of the Knicks franchise means the world to me. It means everything, because um, I'm in the Big Apple. In one word, unbelievable. What does it mean to me to be part of the Knicks gaming franchise is that we're part of a brotherhood, everybody gets along really well. Um, also that I'm in a, a really good place to succeed. What it means to be a part of the Knicks gaming franchise is everything to me. I'm a New Yorker, I'm a diehard Knicks fan, and to know I was able to get drafted here was the greatest thing in the world. Hopefully we can carry over um, our energy and our momentum through the rest of the regular season going into the playoffs. I think that we're sitting at a really good, really good spot right now because we know kind of who our first round matchup is most likely going to be. So we have plenty of time to prepare for that and also some, some final regular season games in which we can try some stuff out. And if we have any more kinks to kind of fix up, uh, we can go ahead and, and use that time to really just improve ourselves. It doesn't really actually matter if we win or lose. We're still going to be locked in for the eight seed pretty much. But just having that momentum to carry it over game in the game. You know, we're going to practice a lot. We're going to take all these games, treat it as if we haven't made the playoffs yet. Um, and hopefully we're able to execute. Like we ain't going to just go in there and like let people win. Like we still going to play like we not in the playoffs. So We really want to feel like we're at the top of our game going into the playoffs. So we're going to take each game seriously. We're probably going to have a tough matchup with uh, the Blazers as long as everything stays course. And we've lost to them twice this season. So hopefully we can get them back in the playoffs. And ladies and gentlemen, the home team, your ticket champions, Knicks Gaming! Three and seven in the regular season, but throw that out the window. They're gonna be in the dance here in a few weeks. We came out against the Pistons. Um, we just spent the, the previous week scrimmaging them. I mean, we know them, they know us really well. Um, kind of just looked like we were still riding, riding our high from when the tournament came out. Maybe not, not quite motivated enough. The Pistons showed that they really needed to win the game, and we didn't. Good job by Rock stepping in the passing lane. Up ahead, a rainbow. Nice move, but can't finish. Insanity. The Pistons really knew um, our game better than anybody uh, just because we boot camped them for a week. And they came out um, executing um, the same way they did in um, our scrimmages. They got to put it up. Rocks down. 21 to 12. We had a few chances throughout the game. They, they kind of let us stick in the game, and we had a few chances to, to pull away with it, and we just didn't take advantage of it. Idris, showtime. Back to single digits. Final possession of the quarter. Rainbow! We made some late comebacks. We made like two comebacks. Got it down to like one, but just couldn't pull away. The Pistons. Had a nine-point lead. It's been as many as 14. Adam! We were fighting them off for a little bit, but we just couldn't really fully put it together. And it, it just seemed like we didn't quite have the same type of energy and, and rhythm going. Joseph. That's a long two. Final score, Pistons GT 75, Knicks 66. Um, I guess we were still sitting on a high horse that we still won the uh, ticket. So... 
it was good that we actually lost that game to uh, give us the humble pie. You never want to lose, but I think it was a loss that was definitely humbling, and it's going to kind of refocus everyone. I think it was a little bit of humble pie. Um, I think it's going to help us lock back in and get ready for the Bucks this week, and then two weeks until or three weeks until playoffs. foundation. Growing up as a Knicks fan, I've heard it over and over again, all the great stuff they do. So it's really cool to finally actually be able to work with them. We went to the Bridge Haven, a homeless shelter, and we were there for a bunch of kids to show them, you know, so they could have a good time. For me personally, it made me feel good. I'm from the Bronx, so it felt good to give back to the community. The following week, they came to the game and they watched us play. So it just felt like, wow, we're, we're giving back to the place where I grew up and where I was raised. As soon as we came in the door, they were talking trash to us, saying they were better than us. So I knew we were going to have a lot of fun right out the gate. They were excited. They were asking like a lot of questions. Um, you also had some kids that were trash talking, that they can beat, uh, beat us in 2K. But you know, we had the school and showing who the real pros are. That was probably my best event, like favorite moment of all time. Just seeing them little kids, like they face changing, like we was like celebrities or something. Like it felt good. Like I, I would want to do that even more. I want to hopefully keep helping out uh, that specific uh, shelter and uh, donate some stuff. So uh, hopefully we can continue to put some smiles on their faces. That was an amazing experience. Just overall, um, being able to help, help you know, in any way that we could to kids that you know are in need was was pretty cool. We were able to give them a PS4 along with some controllers and then 2K and just to sort of see the smiles on all their faces was really fun. It gives you a different perspective on life when you go do something like that. And you could just see our guys kind of came back and, and we're really happy they did it. And kind of gave them like a greater appreciation for everything that they're able to do and give back to and also just the lives that they have themselves. If you got a dream, go chase it. No matter the outcome, just believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will. I was a negative person. Turned that negative, made it to a positive. I'm a better teammate, I'm a better man. And um, the key in the life is to take criticism and you also gotta listen because if you don't listen, you'll never be successful.